Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Long time no talk. This week I'm going to be doing a plan with me for October 1st, not 1st, 10th to the 16th. If that sounds like something that you're going to be interested in, I would love if you stick around. And without further ado, let's just get started. So I have no idea what I want to use. I haven't flip through sticker books at all I just turned on the camera and was like let's just do it um so I do have some options let me move this out of the way slightly I'm currently in a Moterm veg tan cover in ooh, is this caramel I think this is the shade caramel with my Hogan H -E Weeks in here and then also my Planner Monkey Co. Freely Noted. Both of them fit in here and I've been really liking this cover. Um, so I'm just gonna flip through here and see what I wanna do. I need to keep in mind though, I did already lay down some stickers. I laid down the Coffee Monsters Co. Halloween Countdown. So just something to think about when I sit here and flip through stickers, like what's kinda gonna go with that. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> so we do have some options sticker wise and I'll show them to you. So I got in the November collection from Sterling Inc, which is really nice. I cannot wait to use the sticker someday, but I don't think I want to use that. I think I want to do something a little bit more like Halloween. -y. I'm gonna go back here to my autumn section. I don't know if I have like actual Halloween stickers though. That's the thing. I know that I have like a lot of fall stuff, but I don't think I have Halloween stuff. Like I have like occasional pumpkins and stuff. Oh, this one's cute. This little carving pumpkin sheet. I might do that. Yeah, this is more all just like fall not really Halloween this one oh that oh I could do this too hmm maybe I'll do this and finish off this sticker sheet and then I'm gonna keep that carving pumpkins one probably for next week because we have like two more weeks we can decorate for for Halloween so yeah, okay, I'm gonna use this. This is the Paper Minty Studio October 31st sticker sheet. Okay, so we've got my washi drawer. I could do these. I think that these are actually like the same floral because this is a Paper Minty. I mean, a little bit different, but similar vibes that it could work. Um, don't really want the flowers. This isn't that far off color wise to like this orange, but also orange isn't my favorite color. I don't feel like, like I don't want to <laughs> accentuate it even more. Um, maybe like a brown, like something like this. What's wrong with this tape? That kind of matches the border on that picture. And I have like this. Yeah, maybe we'll do these three because if I'm, th there's already a lot of orange going on in the sticker sheet. And if I'm gonna pull in washi, I kind of want to like pull in some more neutral stuff. I think we'll do these three. Okay. Let's get started. I feel like it's been so long, I don't even know how to film anymore. Um, the last video that I uploaded was a flip and it was sometime in September, I believe. Um, but yeah, I've just been really struggling with YouTube and it's not because I don't enjoy it, but because like at the end of the day, it is something that I do for fun on the side and when life gets really busy you have to prioritize things right like i can't not work and do youtube instead i need the money to survive right so unfortunately youtube has just been kind of pushed to the back burner and i hate that because i do love creating videos 
I feel guilty about it all the time. That's one thing that I don't really like, but that I also like, I don't like it, but I also do like it because the fact that I feel guilty when I'm not posting videos means that like I am taking it seriously and I always wanted to take YouTube seriously. I wanted to have a schedule and upload consistently and I did that pretty much for like the first full year I was on the platform for sure. Except like if I was like out of town. Um, but when I was home, videos were going up consistently. I have been struggling with like mental health, but just like more so like life as a whole. Um, and a couple of you guys kind of talked to me and shared your experience with me. The last time I talked about this, after you graduate from university, there's like, it's really hard to figure out your life like your 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 place in the world and I have been like kind of struggling with that like I do want to go back to school I actually want to go to law school and that is still a plan um but I've never taken a break from school I went straight from high school into university and the last uh two years of my degree were really rough on me I felt like I needed a break I felt really overwhelmed and I felt like I was struggling to um, like keep up. Like I could just tell that my, I, I needed to rest. So originally the plan was for me to go straight to law school. It's not the plan anymore um, and that's okay. But it leaves young adults in a really strange predicament, right? Like it's not like I'm out here trying to get a job to start my career because I know that I wanna go back to school. But I also know that like I'm working retail not right now and not thoroughly thrilled with it because I don't feel like I'm doing meaningful work and it's also in no way related to what I'm interested in. So it's just, I just feel like I'm in this really strange transitional space in my life and it's put me in a weird headspace. <laughs> and then also like not only have I been dealing with that, but we have been short staffed at my actual job. So I was working a lot more than initially intended when I started this job, which has been good because the money is nice, but also I haven't really had as much time as I initially had wanted to study. And I also haven't had as much time to like do fun things that I enjoy like YouTube. So <clears throat> I do apologize for the lack of content. Um, and I do apologize and I do. So yeah, I do apologize for the lack of content. And I also just wanna thank each and every one of you who like has reached out and I appreciate it and thank you um but yeah i i don't know i don't know i'm not putting myself on a schedule when it comes to youtube right now just because life is kind of unpredictable right now um i mean like a soft goal would be to have a video up every week just one um because i do thoroughly miss creating so we'll see how that goes um but I'm not sure, like I'm not saying right now, oh, I'm gonna be uploading for sure on this day, just cause I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to create a consistent schedule when your work schedule is constantly changing. Um, so that I've kind of been struggling with as well. When I was in school, like you, you know when your classes are, you know when you're generally gonna get things done and things change here and there, but there is a really like rigid schedule when you're in school and there's a rigid schedule for people who work nine to five or any sort of like job where you have a consistent schedule. But people who work retail and people who work in like the food industry and stuff like that is not consistent. <laughs> it's hard to live a life where things are constantly changing. You're like, designated free time is always is different every week it's hard it's really difficult um so yeah i've just kind of been also dealing with that so 
it I just I really do feel like I'm in like a transitionary part of my life and it's very different right like I have never been out of school before and at the end of the day like because I was in school for so long it became so integral to how I did things and thought about my life and like conceptualized the work that I do in the world and now that that is temporary not a part of temporarily not a part of my life I'm just in like a real weird space <laughs> so yeah anyway I like this I like this a lot but it really doesn't match these countdown stickers <laughs> I really don't like I I like the stickers but I'm kind of regretting having putting them down now because this looks very mismatched just like two different sides of a page um so interesting um I want to put the candy corn somewhere today is actually Friday so I've already lived this week and I'm sitting here trying to remember what I did this week. And I really have no idea. Yes, I do. I came home on Tuesday. I, <laughs> I know exactly what I did. I was traveling. This entire week I was traveling. And I flew home on Tuesday. Went back to work on Wednesday and Thursday. And then I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So yeah, on Wednesday and Thursday I worked... And I can honestly, like, literally cover this thing up with a sticker because that's all I did. Worked and, like, unpacked both days. I think I'll just put it here. Because on Thursday, um, on Wednesday, I really didn't do anything. I was so tired by the time I got home. I'll just put that there. And maybe we'll leave it at, there, at that for now, I think. I was seeing if I could in oh maybe I can I was trying to incorporate one of these floral stickers but I didn't really know how I think I'm gonna pop it under here okay I like that I'm gonna see if I can use some of these scraps somewhere. Um, yeah, so I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I've actually been working on my resume all day today. I'm trying to update it. I'm really on the hunt to like find some type of meaningful work. Um, doesn't have to be like my future career. I just want to find something that I enjoy doing is somewhat related in some way to the future field I want to be in and something that has some type of consistency of schedule. Uh, so I was working on the resume today and we will, we shall see, hopefully something comes of it. But yeah, I'm going to layer this here. I'm just marking off that like long weekend I have. Okay, and then on, mm, I don't know if it's gonna work. On Sunday, I'm going out to see one of my friends. She lives a little bit away, so I'm gonna have to take the train. Um, it's like gonna be like a whole, like a all day type thing. So I can fill up that entire box. Oh, I filled up some of my uh, sticker book, by the way got some new stickers look at these these are so cute these are like little filming stickers they're just large because pumpkin paper color stickers are large in comparison to like the Hobonichi weeks I'm looking for friendship stickers um maybe this one 
yeah I'll put that there and then tomorrow I'm not doing anything and today Friday I did a little grocery shop in the morning but I've spent the majority of the day at my desk working away I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use that one if it fits. Yeah, that works good. And then I'll just put over here, work on resume and then a couple of other things I've done today. Saturday, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Thursday, I worked. Wednesday, I worked. Tuesday, I flew home. I don't think I have any travel stickers like that are like character stickers I think all of my travel stickers are like minimal icons I'm just gonna use this because I don't want to get out my other book and I'll put it like that and Tuesday I flew home on Monday I did a couple of things but I got a I wrote it down in like the notes section of my phone, so I don't have those to look at right now. Um, but yeah, on Thursday last night, what did I do? Oh, last night I updated my planner. I did this spread right behind this week. Let's see. I'm going to use these little Hobonichi stickers. And I'm just going to write catch up and planners from where I was gone that week. Um, this spread is really busy. <laughs> it's really busy. But I'm hoping that words will make it look nicer. What else? I think that's it. Oh, I did get an exciting phone call, which I can't really talk about right now because I don't want to talk to, like, I don't want to jinx anything, but I'm going to put it in this box. And if anything comes of it, I will talk to you guys again about it in the future. But I just want to mark that like it happened this week. Um, and I think that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and like write the information that I have in, and then I'll come back and see if and where I wanna put any more stickers down or update anything else. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so here's what the spread looks like. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add anything else to it, but I did wanna say that I finally figured out like how to make this work for me. I think like the best it's ever going to work on Hobonichi tomorrow for paper in specifically my Hobonichi weeks. And it's with the archive ink, which is an ink that a lot of people use. I've just never been able to get my hand on it. It's really hard to come by in Canada. And when you can find it in Canada, it's ridiculously priced for shipping. Uh, so I was able to get it when I was down in the US last week. And super happy to have it. I really like it. It's what I used here as well. It's been the best experience I've ever had with this pen with any fountain pen on in my Hobonichi weeks um so I'm gonna keep trying it out my writing is like still not perfect but it's leaps and bounds better to what it was looking like at the beginning of the year when I was using this pen so yeah anyway um this is where I'm at right now I don't know if I want to add anything else I really wanted to use this sticker but I just don't think there's room for it and there's definitely not room for this. So the only other thing I could add is like a little floral somewhere if I wanted to, but that is about it. Plop that there, it looks nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow because what I do tomorrow depends on how much I'm able to get done tonight. Um, still have quite a few things on my to-do list in my Planner Monkey Co freely noted to get done and what doesn't get done today is just going to get my great issue tomorrow so I don't have I don't know what I'm going to put there yet um but yeah
I'm happy to be back you guys and I really appreciate each and every one of you who watched this video and I just want to say thank you. I had a lot of fun and I really 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 do hope to continue filming for you guys and yeah without further ado I hope that you guys have a really nice evening a rest of your day wherever you're at in the world. I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you guys next time.